It's Saturday. Whoa, I thought he was going to pull up in front of us there. Um, Saturday, the 3rd of April, 2021. This is Pemberton Road. Fire. The subscriber who lives in Canada asked us if I could mention places I was at. I'm heading down, well, I'm heading over the Derwent Reservoir just for a run out. And uh, I'm going down now towards the A68 past the uh, caravan park. The road has been closed for a while, but now it's open. It's got traffic lights on, but at least it's open. It was a bit of a nightmare having to go all the way up to concert to get on the 68 or cut through Snod's Edge. And Snod's Edge is basically a horrible road. It's got more bumps in it than out else. Nice day anyway. It's uh, Easter weekend. Saturday. Just coming up to the caravan park now. It's just in here behind the trees. There it is, there's a few few people getting served at Allensford Caravan Park. And this car park here is quite full as well. Being the Easter weekend, there's people all over the place sitting having sandwiches and cups of tea or what have you and there's another car park at this end very popular place this for people to come down with their dogs and things like that there's the other car park just there nice motorbike So, coming on to 68 now. Been up to Hexham this morning, but uh, I forgot to take the camera with us. Right, just coming over the bridge, over the River Derwent. A few people walking around. And this is the Derwent Manor Hotel, closed at the moment of course, for the old Covid, but uh, that's another very popular place. So here we are on uh, the side of the Derwent Reservoir. Glorious day, hardly a cloud in the sky. There's the, the tower across there. I'll zoom in, but not going to get much of a zoom off this. But uh, there's the tower, and there's a car park over that side as well. And it's closed at the moment. But it's um absolutely glorious day. Really glorious. Lots of um, geese on the water. And there's a couple of people on wait, one of these new standy up things you stand on with a, an oar. Uh, don't know what you call them like. But, and over here, I don't even know if I can swing around far enough. Over there, you might just see all the cars at what you call Pow Hill Country Park. I'll zoom in there. There's a line of them from the main road right down into the car park and the car park's chock a block as well. So there's a lot of people here but where I am not many knows this exists so uh, it's um, well there's anybody here. So it's very peaceful and very calm. The water's very calm. And all you can hear is the birds and 
see them flying around. It's absolutely gorgeous. There has been an osprey spotted here fishing last year, but where the nest is, who knows? I don't believe there's a nest at this location, but uh, there must be one within a few miles away for the osprey to come here catching trout. I've came a little way around the reservoir um, to this part of the nature reserve. There's a couple of geese down here, just picking away at the grass. There's quite a few actually over there, a couple on the water, a few more down there. It's absolutely gorgeous here. What a lovely day. Absolutely lovely, lovely day. The boathouse is open actually and there's uh, there's a couple of little um, one man yacht things is on the water over there. A few cars, well not a, there's one here and two down the road in front and all these sheep here. As a kid I used to like walk around these woods and that and I used to set rabbit snares and stuff when I used to spend my holders on the farm. So it's got happy memories this place for me. Had some great times here. Right, I ended up at um, High Spen near Greenside, just up the road from Rowlands Gill. Called in the Chinese takeaway, which is my favourite one, that's why I went there. I know there's about half a dozen in concert, but there's none of them as good as this one. And I've been going to that one since I lived at Greenside back in the 80s or 90s, whatever it was. So, been buying food from the high spent takeaway for absolutely years. So, this is high spent itself. Seems to be a few houses up for sale here. And they built a the new uh, building sites has been done as we speak. I don't know what's going on there, eh? Looks a bit like a Covid test site, that with a tent in the garden. So, this is Hooker Gate. There's a school here somewhere, Hooper Gate School, I'm not too sure where it is but uh, anyway, that's um, Chopwell Woods up there, very interesting place to visit, anybody that likes going for long walks that's a place to go, they've got about five different walks in there, this is one of the new sites I was just mentioning. Low meadow close. And then I take this little cut through, through by Victoria and Garsfield, past the cemetery. Anybody knows of, uh, I've heard of Viv Graham. He's buried actually in there, somewhere. He was a bit of a Newcastle gangster, if you like, until he got shot. And I can't remember what year it was, but it was New Year's Eve. So still a gorgeous day. 
half past five here and it's still beautiful so I'm on my way home and uh, from this junction up here you can take two ways one straight on one left so I'm taking the left turn which takes us up into Medemsley and then from Medemsley we drop down into Black Hill I worked here yesterday actually Medemsley I know it was good Friday but uh, if needs must and all that sort of thing and it was handy because everybody was off this video as I get out the far side of Medemsley. So this is Medemsley village uh, almost out the far end now my cousin used to live there many years ago So that's the end of Medemsley Village, that's the end of this video. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who watches, who follows my channel. And uh, as usual, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, take care, stay safe, see you in the next one. Bye for now.